Hey everybody, welcome to week number four. It's a pleasure working with you all and watching uh, some of your videos this past week. Remember that the first three weeks of the class, we're really trying to situate ourselves and how we are using technology and then getting a better understanding of how our students are using technology. And it's not so much about how can we bring like a specific app or a specific um, game like into the classroom space, but uh, what actions are they taking and what are they doing out there uh, kind of in the virtual wild? Um, and then do any of those skills transfer over into a class? Some of the spaces that uh, different people in the class explored were NBA 2K, Fortnite, uh, Valorant, um, TikTok, GTA, and then I'm looking at different creators on YouTube. And so one of the pieces that really stood out to me as I was going through that is uh, somebody mentioned that a lot of the games stress um, strategizing and collaborative, um, being able to collaborate to meet like a specific goal. So students or kids are going out there, they're randomly meeting people in a lot of these spaces and then they're collaborating um, and enjoying it. And so the takeaway there is not that, you know, we need to get all of them into GTA or Fortnite to do that, but to understand that they already have some type of framework in which they're out there and being successful and enjoying uh, attacking attack. So something that you want to think about then is um, what does that look like within your class? So if they're enjoying going through like checkpoints and achieving like specific goals, can you add checkpoints and goals within your assignments, within your daily lessons? Um, you know, that's something similar that you would see kind of in like the old school whole brain teaching type thing. Or can you reward kids um, for when they're, you know, achieving these different pieces? And that's actually something that I saw somebody put in one of the discussion boards that, um, you know, there's like shared rewards in the class. And then some of the rewards can be like adding um, your own music to a playlist or a class playlist. And so this week, especially this week, more than any other week, you want to start digging into what some of the different tools are that are available for you um, as you go into your signature assignment. Everybody's going to be sharing how they're um, using technology within their class. And then they're also going to be sharing um, their own evaluation of technology tools. And so you really want to start thinking about what that looks like for your signature assignment. Remembering your signature assignment, you have two options. Option number one is to revamp what you're doing in an online space. So whether that is like improving how you're communicating with parents, with students, um, collaborating with all of them, or the other option, which is kind of the home run swing and see if you can set up a collaborative endeavor with somebody outside of your classroom. So collaborating amongst your PLC, collaborating with another school, or even collaborating with somebody through this program. If you do go for that home run route, um, you're allowed to mess up. I'm not going to ding you because it didn't go out exactly how you planned. You just document all of it. Um, but I really want to push you to, you know, go outside the box and, um, you know, see if uh, you can make something happen. I think more than anything, the next um, few weeks are going to push you kind of to the edges maybe of comfort if you're not used to kind of public speaking because you're going to be doing the little roundtables with each other. Or if you're, you know, trying to collaborate or create something new within your class. And then ultimately, again, um, it's not like the final product, it's the process, and um, it's all meant to be applicable. So moving forward here, none of this should really be busy work. It should be something that's gonna be enriching what you're doing in your own practice, or that you can be using in the coming year or semester. Uh, so, see you online.